walking up here real quietly and seeing just how long it takes to catch a fish. Ah, just that long. Yeah, just that long. Not a big one. No, not a big one, but still a fish. In a survival situation, that would be with its weight in gold. Good old fashioned gully washer from Strangling Rainstorm. This is McCook's Mr. Bilson, honored to have you here. I'm going to use a hook today and just a little crappie bite. That's the type of bait. And we're going to go out here. It's rained all night, about an inch of rain out here in southwest Nebraska. That boy, did we need it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're going to go down here and see, and it's still sprinkling because we're going to try and bust a couple of mists. Some of the mists out here, they say that uh, just after a rain, the water's just stirred up that you can't get the fish to bite. Also, it's still sprinkling a little bit here, so we're going to be fishing, if you will, in the rain, though it'd be very light, just to see if you can catch a fish in the rain. And there we go. Which proves, which proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that you can catch fish, and not a bad one. Ah, come here. Come here. There we go. That's not a bad looking little fish. Absolutely. Just after a rainstorm and still sprinkling and we caught a fish. That kind of busts the idea that you can't catch fish when it's raining or just after a good one inch rain. Even if it stirs up the water, the right bait and a four foot string about as rudimentary fishing as you can do. No $100 fishing rods or uh, $10 fishing lures caught this fish. I'm just here to tell you.